In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this awesome feature section in Webflow in just a few minutes. And I'm gonna be able to do this by using an uncommon component from the Relim library. Now, this section has been designed to create that memorable moment, that wow factor in your website. So you can use this to take your websites and your designs to another level. And so I'm super excited to show you how to build this. So let's jump in. Okay, so I have cloned the Reloom style guide and created a fresh Webflow project. So I'm ready to go, I'm ready to copy and paste the component in. Um, I also have exported all the assets from the Figma design and I have this Figma design to refer to throughout. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Reloom library and I'm gonna go and copy and paste the uncommon component uh, called layout 349. So I'm gonna use the filters here uh, and I'm going to click the uncommon toggle. And here it is. I'm gonna copy the component in, uh, copy the component out and paste it into the main wrapper. Great. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove any of the elements that I don't need. So uh, I'm gonna start with removing the tagline and the button row below. Uh, and then I'm gonna do that for the following three content items. And then I won't need this fourth content item and I also won't need this fourth image. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that too. Great, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the copy from the Figma file uh, to into the Webflow. So I'm just gonna copy and paste the text paste it in here. Awesome. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in the images. So I've actually um, exported all the images. So I'm just going to import them into the Webflow. And then I'm going to click the third image and replace it with uh, it's uh, appropriate image. I'm gonna then click the second image and replace that one too. And then click the first image and replace that one as well. Okay, cool. Now I'm gonna scroll back up to the top. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, change the text to fit and match the design. So one easy way of doing this is I'm going to go to the body and because we're using one font uh, throughout this design, uh, an easy way to update the font across the entire website is to go to the HTML tag for the body, uh, click the font and the font that we'll be using is Inter. Great. Now I usually would use the style guide and update all the font there, but for the purpose of this demo, I'll just update the fonts that I'll need. So firstly, the H2, I'm gonna to refer to the Figma design. Uh, and so the H2 font is inter, extra bold weight, size 56 pixels, line height 120% and letter spacing minus 2%. So I'm gonna go back over. I'm going to select the H2, select the HTML tag right in the selector. I'm going to change that to extra black, uh, extra bold, sorry. And then I'm going to make this 56 pixels, but in RAM. So I can type in 56 divided by 16 RAM, and that will give me the RAM amount. The line height is already good, that's good to go. And then I'm gonna do minus 0.02 EM, which is the same as minus 2% in Figma. Okay, so that's looking good. Now the next thing I'm going to do is edit all the paragraph text, and I'll just need to uh, bump this back down to 80% uh, to create some hierarchy with the text. Um, and so all the text is done and ready to go. Now the very last thing that I'll need to do uh, on desktop is to essentially update the background color. Now to do that, uh, what you want to do is, let's just close the wrapper. What you want to do is go to the content wrapper and you will see there'll be three content items 
Now, each content item will hold a background in it. So what you wanna do is open up the content item and go to the background holder. Open the background holder and what you wanna do is you wanna edit the background layer. Uh, so the background of the background layer. Now I have created a class here um, to enable you to update uh, the background color one class very easily. Now you can change that class if you wish to do so, but uh, I don't need to do that for this. So I'm just gonna go ahead I'm gonna copy the hex code of the background in Figma. I'm going to paste in the hex code here, press enter. Great, so that's the first one. Now for the second one, I'm gonna open the background holder again, click the background layer. Now you can see it says background color two. Uh, and I'm going to copy the hex code in Figma, paste it in, cool. And then the next one I'm going to do uh, is the third one. I'm gonna click the background layer, it says background color three. I'm gonna go back to the Figma and copy this purple, uh, light purple color and press paste. Great. All right, so now let's preview what it looks like. Perfect, that looks awesome. Now that is good, that is, is working exactly how I wanted it. Now I'm just gonna review what it looks like across desktop and mobile. So um, tablet functions the same, Sorry, let's go into preview, Fun functions the same. Um, however, mobile, this, this basically, um, it, it starts to break on mobile. This interaction is designed for desktop. So um, what we've done is we've removed the image from the, desk, uh, from the mobile and we've added in a static image. So uh, this is a totally different image that, that only appears on mobile. So what you'll need to do is you'll just need to replace that image um, here so that this becomes mobile responsive. And I'll show you in a minute how uh, that looks on mobile. Great, cool. Now let's preview what that looks like on mobile. And so the background color still changes uh, and that looks really nice. Cool, and so that is it. I hope you like what you see. I hope you've learned how to use this component to create an awesome section. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful and you would like to continue to improve your design and development workflow on Webflow, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now, if you would like to see more videos like this, you can visit the Realum University on our website. And if you would like to join a community of designers and developers using Webflow, you can join our Slack channel, it's free, and you can find it on our website in the footer and also on our socials. Thanks for watching this video and enjoy building.